Sup YouTube, JG here. Back with another entry. Now, uh, this is somewhat related to my last entry regarding uh, YouTube, FTC, and COPPA. Now, may na ba ang ako eh. I'm going to speak in Tagalog. So, this will, so that this will be, uh, this will cater more to my, uh, uh, to my Filipino audience. Alright. May napansin ako with regards to the uh, the YouTube FTC copy issue. Why isn't uh, why isn't Philippine media covering this? Para wala na kakaalam eh. Because may nakausap ako through PM na uh, uh, na isang netizen na madalas sa madalas sa YouTube and she's seen videos of it. Now, hindi niya medyo clueless siya as to uh, as to how it will affect uh, all YouTubers. So, I explained it to her. So, ganito, ganito, ganito uh, kahit nasa, kahit, kahit hindi ka based sa United, kahit hindi ka based sa US, they can, the FTC can still go after you for um, for publishing a video that's uh, that's to them directed at kids, directed at children. They can still fine you forty-two thousand plus dollars for it. She was shocked. Okay, nasak siya. Now, that led me to assume that um, my countrymen don't know this yet, right? The Philippines doesn't know this yet, right? Now, ngayon, uh, well. Filipinos are are known to are known also to access YouTube, all right. They're either <clears throat> they're either subscribing to channels or they have a channel themselves. Okay. Now I am absolutely clueless as to why main why Philippine mainstream media hasn't got gotten wind of this. All right. The issue has been going on since probably as early as September or even August as mere speculation but now December and before you know it it's already January 1 2020 so the enforcement of the settlement is upon us if you're a youtuber like me all right but pero kung kapwa kita pinoy at youtuber ka rin you're probably clueless as to what as to what's happening clueless ka why I just want to know why. Why Philippine mainstream media is still in the uh, is still blacked out when it comes to this issue. Kasi maraming Pinoy na YouTuber din eh. Especially most especially the Filipino YouTubers who are uh, whose content is directed at kids. You know, kid friendly, kid friendly content, kid friendly channels. May, may mga Pinoy din eh. May mga Pinoy na channel owners na ganun. I'm, I'm absolutely clueless as to why. Clueless talaga ako kung bakit um, bakit ang media dito sa Pilipinas eh, hindi alam ito. But it will affect them. Right? It will, it will also affect Filipino YouTubers based here in the Philippines. I don't know why. If you got conspiracy theories, okay, feel free to comment. Mag-comment kayo. Kayo mga Pino YouTubers, okay? I'm going to call out um, some Filipino YouTubers. Uh, no, I'm not going to call out those Filipino YouTubers. Right? It's up to you guys. It's Bahala na kayo kung, uh, kung seseryosohin nyo ang issue ng YouTube, FTC, and COPPA, if you're going to take it seriously or not, bahala kayo. Basta ako, I want your opinions in the comment section. Check you later.